Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. Has this ever happened to you? You've opened up Lightroom, you go to work on an image, and everything is grayed out over here. And then you notice at the top it says the file could not be found. Furthermore, down here in the film strip, every single image has a little exclamation point in the corner. And then when you go over to the library module, every image in grid view has that exclamation point. And when you look over at the folders on the left-hand panel, every single folder has a question mark. What happened? Well, Lightroom lost your files. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get them back. For those of us that use Lightroom, I think this has happened at least once. We either lose a file, we lose a folder, or in this case, we lose all our files and folders. Well, as long as you didn't delete them from the hard drive, they're, as long as they're still on your system, you should be able to get them back into Lightroom. And it's actually pretty easy to do. And the reason why this most often happens is because outside of Lightroom, that means with Lightroom closed, we're using either Windows or our Mac software to rename images, move images from one folder to another folder, or we're moving all the folders or many folders from one hard drive to a different hard drive. Whenever you do anything like that, Lightroom doesn't know you did it. So when you reopen Lightroom, Lightroom is going to look at the original location where that stuff was and it won't be able to find it. And it will put exclamation points on the images and question marks on the folders. Now, to find them, to get them back, what you need to do is just go to whatever folder, let's say, let's start with folders. You're missing a folder. In this case, I'm missing all my folders. Go to the root folder, in this case, Lightroom Raw Files. Once I find that folder, as long as the other folders are still in the same uh, hierarchy, the same structure, everything should be found. So I'm going to go to Lightroom Raw Files at the top here. I'm going to right click on it. And I'll go to the very first choice, Find Missing Folder. We'll click on that. And if you have a Mac like I do, Finder will open up. If you have a Windows computer, File Explorer will pop up. Either way, what you need to do now is to navigate to where this folder is. Outside of Lightroom, with Lightroom closed, I actually renamed this file. That's why Lightroom can't find it. It's on the same hard drive, my Lightroom hard drive, but I renamed it to, to My Lightroom Raw Files. So we'll click on that, we'll click Choose, and then Light Magic, you'll see over here in the folders area that all the folders were found except one, this abstract folder, can't find that one. That's because I renamed that one too. So we gotta find that folder. I'll right click on it, Find Missing Folder, and I'll open up Lightroom Raw Files, and I called it Abstract Images. So I click on that, click Choose, and Hopefully you found everything. Now, if you want to double check that you found everything. Now, if you look here, you can see all the question marks are gone. Now, I could go through each of these images image by image. I have almost 62,000 images, so that's going to take a long time, right? So what you could do is have Lightroom check for you. We're in the library module, so we're going to make sure now that every file is here. We're going to go up to library and then to find all missing photos. Click on that, and you'll see over here it's doing a task, and it found a missing, a missing uh, image right here. This image still has the little exclamation point on it. Well, why is this missing? Well, I kind of moved it, I think. So let's see if I can find it. We're going to right-click on it, and we're going to go down to Show in Finder. Now, if you have a Windows PC, it won't say Finder. It's going to say... I don't know, File Explorer or something like that. Uh, but either way, we're going to click on that. And now it's telling me I can't because it's not there. Do you want to locate it? Yes, we're going to locate it. So we'll click on Locate. Now again, my Finder window opened up and I could find this folder. And what I did was I named it New. I put New in front of it right here, New. So I renamed this file outside of Lightroom. And Lightroom doesn't know I did it. So we're going to click on new. That's, that's the original image. I just renamed it. And I'll go to select. And you'll see that the file you selected has a different name than the one you were trying to locate. Are you sure this is the correct file? Yes, I'm sure. We're going to click confirm. 
and you can see that the exclamation point is gone. And if I go over to the develop module, it doesn't say that the file is missing and everything's active and I could actually process this image. And it's like that for everything. So I'll go back to the, uh, like I had Akron Falls, right? And I had grid view and I think I had this image selected. Maybe I went here and you can see now I could work on it. Everything's active. So it will find all your files and folders. So, uh, kind of the rule is don't rename or move anything outside of Lightroom. If you need to rename anything or move anything, do it from the library module. Go to library module and let's just say for the sake of argument that I want to take this folder and move it into a different folder down here. All I need to do is click on it and drag it. And you see it's allowing me to drag it. I could drag it into any of these other folders. Now I'm not gonna because I don't want to move it. But if I did, that's what I would do. I would just drag it. Drag and drop. That's all you need to do and to move things around. Um, if you need to move uh, like something to a new hard drive, you could do that outside of Lightroom. Just use the technique I use. Just don't rename anything. Make sure you move everything. And just remember you to leave the underlying file structure, folder structure, all intact. Then just use what I did, the right click find missing folder for the root folder and you'll be able to basically have everything found. All your edits will be there. You won't have, will not have lost anything. Now, if you want to rename a single file, let's say we're going to rename this file right here. It's currently named underscore DSC 1028-edit.psd. Let's say I want to rename that single file. To rename it, go to library module. Go to metadata, make sure you're on, highlighted on, or they have that image active. Right at the top, it says file name. Just click right there and give it a new name. Make sure you use the same suffix, in this case, .psd. So I'll just call this a uh, test because we're doing a test. PSD. And hit enter. And I just renamed that test.psd. Simple as that. And it will show you the original file name. There's the original file name right there. So you could rename individual uh, images in the library module in the metadata tab right at the top. Now I'm going to rename, I'm going to put that back to what it was because I really didn't want to rename that. So I'll just hit enter and good. I renamed that. So you could rename things and uh, move things around by dragging and dropping inside of Lightroom. If you want to rename a folder, right click on the folder and go down to rename. So I could rename Akron Falls to something else and click save, but I'm not going to. But that's how you do it. Do everything from inside of Lightroom and hopefully you won't lose anything. And remember, outside of Lightroom, never ever move anything, never ever rename anything, and definitely never ever delete anything outside of Lightroom. Do all of that inside of Lightroom and your Lightroom catalog and library should be stellar, <laughs> for lack of a better term. So that's it for this video. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.